Joseph Parker and his call-outs are, are something else. They really are. So, Joseph Parker, he called out Dylan White about a week ago. And it was a... It, I, I called it at the time probably the best call-out you'll ever see. Because it wasn't a, a typical, you know, make a video. I want Dylan White next. Or I want Tyson Fury next. Or I want such and such. It wasn't like that. It was definitely aimed at Dylan White. It was Dylan White was what he wanted. But he mimed take that uh, want you back for good. And it was a pro like this wasn't just you know him mining the song. It was a proper like record studio record, and obviously like, it was like a music video. People on the cars in the background, everything. It was honestly crazy to look at, and you know honestly I tip my hat off to him. It was very inventive and something that we've never seen. I enjoyed it. Well, fast forward a week later, <laughs> he's done another one. This time it's for Anthony Joshua. And he used Ed Sheeran's Lego House. That's probably the only song I've ever heard from Ed Sheeran that I actually like. And he played the part. He was playing the part that Rupert Grint played in the uh, music video of it. And yeah, it was it was good. I'll give him, honestly, like Joseph Parker. <laughs> this is good. This is good stuff. I really like it. I, I'm imagining though. But that must, like for a call out, I can't imagine that whoever's helping him do that is doing it for free. So for a call out, he's probably putting, now Joseph Parker's made a lot of money in his career. So however much these videos may cost to make, it's probably chump change to him. You know, he's had two big, three big Saudi paydays. And, you know, the Joshua fight, the white fight. It, it, Joe Parker is not short of some change, put it like that. He's had a good few big paydays his career. So you can, you can do that. But honestly, it's, it's very, it's very inventive. It's different. Um, and you know what? It gets people talking. And I can see why he does it. Because you think of it like this. Right? How many people call out Anthony Joshua? How many people are going to call out Dylan White? Especially after how he looked in Castle Bar. You're going to have loads of fighters. You'll have probably... There are probably fighters out there calling these guys out on Twitter that we're probably not even made aware of. Like, wouldn't shock me if, you know, Frank Sanchez or something says something. And I guess the thing is, how do you stand out? How do you get people actually mentioning, oh, yeah, did you see the, the call out Joseph Parker did? Or... Did you see the call out Frank Sanchez? Did no one be saying that? Whereas with Joe Parker's one, they will be saying something. Be like, look at Joe Parker's video and stuff like that. And it gets people, it gets people talking. Well, we're doing videos on it. And I like it. It's different. It's new. It's something that I don't recall other fighters doing. And in terms of the two opponents, and do you know what? I'm just thinking, I wonder who it's going to be, I wonder who it's going to be next week. What other music video he has in store. You know, I mean, it's just going to be... If someone ever called out Naomi Inoue, they'd have to use Eminem and Rihanna Monster, wouldn't they? They'd have to use that song to call out Inoue. Surely, I mean, you start thinking about songs you could use to call out other fighters, but you'd have to use that song by Eminem and Rihanna to call out Inoue. But in terms of the two fighters, Dylan White and Anthony Joshua, obviously he's fought both of them, and Joshua's only ever rematched Usek. They try and rematch Dylan White. Uh, that didn't happen for obvious reasons. Joseph Parker's only ever rematched Derek Chisora and he was much better second time around. Maybe he's thinking if I rematch, if I was rematching Chisora a second time and I was much, much better, he was much better in the rematch. Maybe I'm going to be even better this time around against Joshua or Dylan White. Out of those two, I would say the most winnable one is Dylan White. Is it the most realistic? Would Dylan White be in a position where he can actually box on a Saudi show? With Anthony Joshua, is that realistic? Because if, Anthony Joshua was talking about fighting in September and we're hearing rumours that it likely will be against the winner of Hergovic Dubois if in fact that is for a vacant IBF title. Would they really risk Anthony Joshua going in there for a, a, a shot at a title, an IBF title, against someone like Joseph Parker who, yes, he beat six... Yeah, it would have been six years ago now. It was six years ago in March, end of March. Would, it really, would they really risk him against that in a fight in which yeah first time around he did win he was the rightful winner but that referee you know he was abysmal I think he was Italian it, it was an abysmal refereeing job if it was a fair referee how might it go you know Joshua is looking good but Parker his last two performances and even the Simon Keane fight really it's been it's a lot of good signs there from Joseph Parker so could that be different this time around uh, which one would I think is most likely? Mm. I would say the Joshua fight is less likely than Dylan White. Maybe Dylan White could get something in Saudi. I don't know. 
and they could just do the rematch. And to be honest with you, that's a winnable. That's a fight where I would make Joseph Parker firm favourite in. In terms of Joshua, I'd still make Joshua favourite, I would, but I wouldn't be envisioning a, you know, a dominant, you know, bam, see you later type job. I think it would still be a competitive 12-round fight. I really do. Parker, under Andy Lee, we are seeing a much, much better, I'm sorry if you heard a car go up the road there, really, really loud car go up the road there. Uh, we are seeing a much more improved Joseph Parker. It seems like with every camp he's had with Andy Lee, seems to be getting better and better, with the exception of obviously the Joe Joyce fight. But, you know, it, again, you know, he lost, but in many ways he won because look at their respective careers, you know. So I'll leave it there. Let me know what your thoughts are on Joseph Parker's most recent call. It was very interesting. Let me know in the comments. Hope you enjoyed it, people. Smash the like button if you could. Hit subscribe, of course, as always, if you haven't already. Peace.